Alrighty, welcome to another Zototaku Guy Let's Play. Don't take it personally, babe. It just ain't your story. Part 3. Let's get this started. And it doesn't take too long for Charlotte to arrive. Hi, good morning, Mr. Rook. I hope your walk home yesterday wasn't too bad. Nope, it's funny. Sometimes things have a way of working out. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear that. We oh, Let's check our messages. So how'd it go? Come on, you have to let me know. I'm sorry, it is. I can't. I don't kiss and tell. Winky, wink emoji. OMG, nice! You are the luckiest girl around. I know, right? I'm just, I'm not going to lie, my heart is still racing. Just thinking about it, I can't wait to see him again. I really can't wait. Oh, M gosh, I still can't believe that actually happened. I'm so happy for you. Anyway, I should really get to bed now. Yeah, me too. Well, I'll try. Anyway, you have no idea how excited I am. Sweet dreams, baby. Try not to let him keep you up too long. Ha ha ha, good night. Someone remind me why you were reading this piece of bad word for English class? It's awful. Why well, are you actually bothering? LOL, why? I don't know. Well, you're gonna fail the class if you don't. We continue to make ideal chit chat as the class slowly files in. As for the night I had yesterday, I'm not particularly in any hurry to get started. Today's lecture is going to be at a leisurely pace. So as you've probably figured out, this is the part of the story where you get the hint that things are going to start getting really weird. From here on out, you're going to discover that things are a lot more complicated than they might seem. I pause for effect. Fro, what do you think the, the use of foreshadowing in the chapter you read last night? How does it differ from at the start of the novel? After a couple of seconds, two hand goes up. Well, I'm sure Charlotte has a better answer, but well, I couldn't not call on Ariana, could I? I smile in her direction, and for the briefest of seconds, she blushes. Go ahead, Arina. Well, I think it's really important because... And so she goes on. End of chapter one. What does it mean to be a gentleman? Is it an outdated concept, or is there really a perfect model for a man to follow? In particular, to follow that's still relevant to our times. Does it matter? And is it that truly a good thing? According to L.G. Powell, before you can ask that question, you first have to ask one simple question. What does it mean to be a gentleman? I'll j jump into what Powell thinks in a minute, but first, what do you think it means? Just the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, sigh, I'm a mother, father, gentleman. Do, 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 do. The class pauses for longer than I'd like, given that I just threw them the easiest question imaginable. And predictably, the first hand to go up is Charlotte's. Go ahead, just tell me anything. This is a little bit obvious, but chivalry, as in holding the door open for a woman? Yes, it is a little bit obvious. Right, that's definitely one. How about, okay, Taylor? I'm definitely surprised to see her put up her hand. Knowing how to be respectful to a girl, for example, a gentleman wouldn't treat a girl like crap just because they've broken up. I stare at her. There's more than just a touch of bitterness to her voice. I wonder who she's really talking about. No, Nolan is an. I wait. Go back. Nolan, what the heck? Stupid kitty. No. Oh, what the? I can't even. Nolan is an island all to himself. Stupid window. The lunch bell rings and the class starts to file out. Oh, eight messages. Zzzz. Are you a bee? Zzzz. Taylor Gibson is looking forward to the party this weekend. Is anyone else going? Tell me I'm not the only one who saw the finale of Iniko last night. That was the most amazing thing ever. OMG. What's that? Of course, she's a noob. She doesn't know what that is. Lucky. Bro. Hey, bro. What's up? You seem kind of distant. More so than usual, even. Things okay? I'm sorry. Just been grappling with some personal stuff. Things have been kind of confusing lately. Actually, um, can I ask you for advice? Of course, bro, always. What about? Ariana? Yes, Mr. Rook. Can I see you after class? I smile, trying to let her know that nothing's wrong. I'm not going to say it in the front of the class. I just want to make plans to take her out this weekend. Sh sure. I'm so disinterested. I heard you say that word. I nod and she turns away. As she walks away, I notice her swaying her hips. Man, what a tease. It takes me a moment to focus again. Meanwhile, sticking around behind are the usual group. 
So Charlotte, when are you going to forgive Kendall? Huh? Forgive? What are you talking about? I don't like having to avoid either one of my friends or the either. I mean, no, or the other. Can't you two just go back to getting along? I don't see why you think we don't get along. Leave it alone, Akira. Don't you think so, Mr. Root? Wouldn't it be better if they made up? I almost said made out. Oh, heck no. Don't drag me into this. Pardon me? Oh, I think it's none of my business. Yeah, but don't you think? I really don't want to have this conversation. Isabella is giving me the dirtiest flare. Well, I have no idea how Charlotte feels. I don't think interposing is going to help. Excuse me, I just remembered somewhere I need to be. Don't let anyone else into the classroom. And before anyone else can say anything, I escape with my lunch, shutting the door behind me. The two girls can deal with Akira without me. I walk away, planning to take some solace in the office. But before I can make it to the stairs, I can see another two students in the distance. And I can definitely hear them. Well, you don't have to be such a jerk about be a jerk about it. I'm being a jerk about it. You're the one who stood up in front of the whole beep class to take a cheap shot at me. I'll kill you, woman. And you have to beep to say that I'm being a jerk. After you dumped me, do you have any idea how humiliating that was? I didn't. You're the one who beep dumped me. Beep, you crazy beep. What's wrong with you? How did I dump you? What? We've had this conversation before twice. Will you just beep leave me alone? This is pretty heated. I'm going to... Let's check our messages. Um, Digital Girl Iniko. It's a shoujo eye anime. Just finished in Japan. Okay, shoujo eye is basically the tamer word for Yuri Girls Club, for anyone who doesn't know. Anime like Strawberry Panic and Yuri Yuri that deal with girls having crushes on each other in first love. Oh, first, there's something I kind of have to tell you. Um, It's kind of a big deal, actually. Kind of anxious, so don't laugh, okay? What, you're finally coming out of the closet? Yes, actually, that's what I was going to say. I think I'm gay. LOL, no, bro. I kinda already knew that. It's no big deal, so what's the problem? What? How did she know? I'm just going to step in. I try to make my approach as loud. Sorry, my sister just walked in. I try to make my approach as loud as possible. Is there a problem here? No, we're just... There is definitely a problem. We're just talking, Mr. Rook. There's some things we need to work out. It doesn't sound like Nolan wants to talk, is that right? Yes. Taylor, why don't you go calm down and go eat your lunch? Give the man some space. She takes a moment, probably evaluating her options. Her expression shifts back to the norm, normal calm smile. Sorry, Mr. Rook, you're right. We'll have this conversation at a better time. She skips over, overselling her cooperativeness a bit far too much. Are you alright? Yeah, thank you, sir. Well, let me know if she keeps it up. Thanks. I guess that's all there is to be said. I'm not sure what else, what's going on between the two of them, besides the obvious, but if he doesn't want to talk, more messages. What? How could you already know that? I only figured it out, like, last night. LOL, for reals? Dude, everyone knows you're gay. It's the most obvious thing ever. Yeah, I knew that was obvious. Like, even I kind of knew it with the LOL wing and the green shirt. Yeah, I knew it. What? No way. You're just projecting because you came out when you were like 13. I'm telling you, I only just figured it out. It makes it makes a lot of sense, but no way, bro. LOL, post about it. See if anyone is surprised. I head to the office to eat my lunch in peace. Saturday. Wow, I've never seen this part of town before. I still can't believe you've never been to Little Japan before. It's my favorite neighborhood. Check our messages. Akira Yamazaki has a big announcement to make. He's gay. Congrats, that's a big step, bro. BTW, here's the context. Akira thinks everyone's going to be surprised. How could anyone know before I did? LOL. 